Welcome to Quack & Co, the board game channel where every video is 10 minutes or less guaranteed. And today, I want to take a look at ARCs by Leader Games with you. The, the designers of Oath, the designers of Root. This is going to be another game coming from Cole Worley, Patrick Leader, and Kyle Farron, the artist. Uh, and right now, they have 14 days left. They have close to 10,000 backers, and they've raised over a million dollars, which is... Incredible and fantastic. Uh, good for them. Uh, I am personally backing this game, but largely because I am both interested and I am also, uh, well, covering it here on the channel. So it's a good thing for me to go ahead and have a copy of it. But I do have some caveats. I have some things that you might want to consider as we start digging into this. So let's take a look. Let's talk about what ARCs is. ARCs is going to be a game that from my opinion, is sort of a hybrid of Root and Oath combined. You have exploration, area control, kind of tactical play mixed in with the potential for a narrative story, an open world uh, kind of developing or, or escalating adventure. And for those of you that love Root, that's awesome. For those of you that love Oath, that's awesome as well. For those of you that are mixed or critical of either one of those, though, there's definitely some concerning signs here in this game. Now, the core functionality of ARCs is going to be a trick-taking action system. You see, you'll use your deck of cards to slowly build out your tableau, have your characters, and sort of move across this space environment. I've heard people describe it as 4X, but I don't know if it's quite into that genre. I see it much more closer to Root in terms of different areas allow you to do and take different advantages, and you're going on a series of quests to try to well, complete objectives and drive victory points up. The way you'll take actions is by following a suit, a trick-taking system, where one leader plays a card, and then you play down cards to either match, follow, agree with, or change up the actions. But if you follow the suit or the action that the leader took, you'll get a better, more efficient, more advanced action. If you play your card face down, you'll get a sub-action, play a different card, you'll get it at a lesser power or ability, or discard two cards, you'll actually be able to take position of the leader. So you have this tactical balancing. How fast do you go through your hand of cards? How fast do you expend your deck? What cards and when do you play them? And do you always follow what the leader is doing? Or are these key moments where you decide to break out from the standard and uh, will divert towards your winning strategy. And my assumption is that the play comes down to those key moments. Now, this is a three to four player game only. I believe there might be an expansion. We'll dig into this in 60 to 120 minutes. ARCs is a fast playing science fiction game from Cole Worley, Kyle Farron, and the award winning team that brought you Root and Oath. Uh, the game opens the final days of a decaying empire. The fearsome blight has overwhelmed the outer systems. Uh, as the last Imperial agents, player must ba players must balance their duty to an ancient order against their own ambitions. Will you find opportunity in this crisis? So, here's my thoughts. One of the things that I like the most about what Leader Games has done in the past is their high-quality, highly produced wooden meeples. And the pledge levels here actually make me second-guess where you should be investing your money. For one of the first times that I'm aware of, Leader Games has decided to offer a miniature expansion to their game. So pledge number one here is going to be $60. They're saying $85 at market. They did just go on sale with some of their products. So there's a chance that if you're willing to wait, you'll be able to find this at a pretty good price later on. Now, that's probably not the initial time it comes in. Usually Leader Games holds value and sells very well right off the front. Uh, you have the base game here. You can build, research, and battle to prove your mettle, compete on dozens of unique objectives. Uh, the pledge gives you the Arcs base game, which contains nearly 70 custom wooden fig figures, 100 cards, and much, much more. Very similar to Root in the sense of scale, uh, and sort of the base game that you'll get in there. Plus, you'll get uh, an expansion for free, uh, More to Explore Pack, which is a bunch of new interesting cards to, to the core game. So, the core thing here, the core idea or concept is this idea of exploring and opening up the world. And so a little expansion pack that'll help flesh that out a bit is very nice. If you pledge $100, 135 MSRP, uh, fulfill your fate through eight branching campaigns in the Blighted Reach campaign expansion. So this is where you're taking core uh, root, right? This, this kind of skirmish expansion game and bridging it over a little bit closer to Oath. You're mixing in a storyline now, something that we've really never seen in original Root. Now, I'm interested in this, but 
based off of the way that the storyline was sort of an unveiling storyline in Oath that didn't ultimately work for me, especially at three players. I I've heard contrasting opinions that there's higher player counts where it works better. I would love to try it out again. Uh, I do think that I am skeptical of this. This pledge will get you the campaign expansion, which contains a vast six-panel galaxy map, hundreds of new cards, and thoughtful storage solution, and much more. Again, I don't know if you use those and just mix them into the base game. I think this is hundreds of new cards, not for base game experience, but actually for the campaign itself. So keep that in mind. If you pledge 150, 205 MSRP, you're going to upgrade your fleet with plastic miniatures. All 84 pieces are ink washed to bring out the fine details. It gets you a miniature pack, which contains miniatures that replace all the wooden figures. This is what I think is likely just not worth investing in it, as far as I'm concerned. Now, I, I am backing it myself personally, again, largely more for coverage, but keep that in mind. Uh, I am doing what I'm going to tell you not to do. If I was going to invest here in ARCs, I would invest down here at the $60 level. You're tying your money up for a year and a half. You're going to be able to explore the base game, just like I'd advise you to get base game Root if you're going to grab a copy of Root nowadays. I don't know that I would encourage you to go full on with advanced miniatures or the campaign expansion. Leader Games always makes their products available post-campaign, and if you find that you love the game, whether or not it is accurate about the MSRP, tying X up an extra $130 right now for the next year and a half probably isn't the best way to go. I do think the campaign could be very compelling. I think if you like art, you're probably going to really enjoy the campaign. I would love more of a narrative adventure in Root. That being said, I don't know that I'm excited about the miniature pack at all. I, I don't need more miniatures. I don't need another box full of miniatures. And historically, from Leader Games, I like their wooden meeples more than I've liked any of the other upgrades or solutions I've been given. The resin clearing markers are very nice. Uh, I do use those, but those substitute cardboard pieces, not wooden pieces. And so I can see myself getting this and honestly diverting back to the wooden meeples and just really never playing with these. The issue I have with plastics is they don't feel as nice on the table. They don't have as much, as much of a nice display. They don't stand out to me as a leader games product, which is something that I've come to know and expect. And along with that, or contrasting with that, I find that they feel worse. I like the texture and the play of wooden components. Uh, you can check out how to play the game. They have a dynamic action system, which again is going to be a trick-taking style system where you're trying to follow the leader to get the most efficient of your actions. If you like trick-taking, great. I am highly skeptical of enjoying trick-taking games. However, in this context, it's an action-taking game, an action trick-taking game, which makes me more compelled. Dramatic battles. This is one of the interesting parts. Multiple dice with multiple ranges for how much risk, damage, and reward you get. And every time you attack, you can decide, do you expend energy? Do you, do you risk more to do a more solid attack? Or do you play it safe and guarantee a hit while still protecting your own troops? I think that concept is very cool. An innovative campaign, again, closer to what Oath did in terms of the exploration and the uh, emergent narrative here in the game. I don't believe it's going to be a standard systemized system. I think they're pulling based off of what Leader Games did, where, or based off of what Root or Oath did, what Cole did with Oath in uh, through Leader Games, where as you play, you'll be adding dimples to your next game experience, right? So it's not a story game, it's an emergent story. Uh, they have a lot of games that are online. Uh, you could play on Tabletop Simulator right now, you could play a print and play, you could play Tabletop Playground, all of those are available. Uh, I don't believe we're going to be diving in ourselves as a channel. I just don't have time to do a full print and play like we've done with their products in the past. Uh, that being said, a lot of their games develop a ton between right now and when you actually get it. I found that uh, the Corvid experience, uh, the Duchy, and Oath changed almost from foundation up between the time I played them and the time I actually received the product. So please keep that in, that, please keep that in mind. Uh, as you decide whether or not you're going to back, uh, you're going to back ARCs. That's my thought. Uh, I would advocate for backing this game. I would advocate for backing this game, though, at the $60 level. Hold your money. You don't need all the fancy stuff. Leader Games oftentimes has all that stuff readily available after it arrives. And on top of that, or retail will have it. And on top of that, I think this will be the best test of your experience. With that, I'll see you next time.